heading around Europe in this small van. In this episode, we say our goodbyes, we meet up with an old friend, and get our ferry heading south. But first, we need to hand the house over. Three hours to go and the place is carnage. We have got everywhere. There's a bloke in the front room cleaning our sofas. Hiya. In our shower, we have got the wife and the dog. Maui is in the shower. We are literally three hours away from handing over the house. There's still boxes everywhere. The place is absolute carnage. It is like always, lastminute.com. Every room I go into, we've got piles of stuff. So, here we are half an hour before we hand the keys over and we thought the only way we're gonna do this is to just chuck everything outside on the pavement and we'll pack it uh, from the pavement. As you see, Van is chocker blocker and there's stuff just stacked on the roof and everything. I don't even know where we're gonna fit it. And there's still more stuff in the kitchen. Let's have a look. Uh, it's not looking hopeful, is it? Half an hour till we hand the keys over. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god! So, so, <gasps> we've got it done on time by the skin of our teeth, as per usual. We're leaving our uh, lovely home. And off we go. The tenants are going to move in tomorrow. That's it. We're all packed. Let's have a look at the van. So, wifeykins, this is our van. The van of doom. As you can see, there is... There's the dog's bed. There is stuff absolutely everywhere. So, as you can see, we are up to the rafters. All to the brim of paddleboard, clothes, dog stuff, obviously the essentials. Uh, <laughs> over here we've got more stuff, dog bed in there, and let's go around the side. So here is our fridge, there is the boys bed full of stuff, there is the bed, our bed full of stuff. And here is the front, full of stuff. Obviously the odd bottle of wine. Check out this. <whistles> Our brand new signs. Audacious Adventures Riley Bear. On top we've got the boys bike. And we've got a roof box which is also, funnily enough, full of stuff. Here we go. This is where the adventure begins. <laughs> <laughs> See you later! Bye. Love you! Bye. Love you! Go, go, go! It's going to be hardest for for Grandma and Grandad. They're, uh, they're really close to Riley. They're certainly going to find it difficult. Um, we know that, so we're going to FaceTime them at, um, pretty much daily. Um, there or thereabouts so they can see his little face. We love you, Grandma and Granddad. We miss you. We're off 
to the Hidden Valley. Yes, it's a, a bushcraft and forest school set up by an old friend of mine. Uh, and we're going to go go there today and check it out, find out what it's all about. Move that in a bit closer. Oh, that's red off. Right, OK. So, in a nutshell, we are a bespoke provider uh, or specialist provider of outdoor education and recreational experiences based in a woodland environment. Everything is centered around bushcraft, the natural world, wilderness living skills, and the sort of stuff that you and I did for the last 80,000 years uh, that's getting forgotten, so we're keeping it alive. And that's, that's basically what we do. A typical week would look like this. Monday mornings, toddler group. So babies and toddlers up to about three years old. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're an Ofsted approved woodland kindergarten preschool. Uh, 50 weeks of the year, those children in the, are in the outdoors. Okay, so really, really good. And we have some fantastic staff members that help myself and the reasons run that. Outside of that, you've got Friday to Sunday, we're running adult courses, wild cooking packages, foraging, archery, corporate do's, stag do's, hen do's, all that kind of good stuff as well. We're leaving here today feeling invigorated and inspired by what Nick and Louise and their family have done and continue to do. Keep up the good work. Nice um, to guests. Yeah, yeah, well, um, we've been invited over for dinner. Didn't realise that we were actually cooking it, but... <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Show daddy. Searched. 
So we just got stopped and searched. Quite exciting, wasn't it? They wouldn't let us film. <laughs> we managed to give him a card, so he's going to watch the audacious adventures of Riley Bear. <laughs> Always an opportunity. Look who's joined us this morning. Mr. Bedhead. He's, he's just climbed over from the back, wanted to join the party, didn't you? Are you excited? Where are we going? Travelling! Going travelling! It's really is it. We'll be taking Riley on his first wild swimming adventure. We go to one of the most beautiful beaches in the world you've probably never been to. And we go to Mummy Bear's favourite seafood restaurant on the entire planet. And a little slice of luxury. It's gonna go.